For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. It looks like the charges from the Alabama Riverfront brawl are finally rolling out, and according to the state's police department, three people have been charged in connection to the melee that happened on Saturday, August 5th in Montgomery. There are multiple videos that show a black riverboat employee being attacked by a group of whites. Thankfully, it didn't take long for other black people to hop in and assist. According to a press conference on Tuesday, Montgomery Police Chief Daryl Albert said 13 people were taken into custody the day of the brawl for questioning. All were released pending further investigation. The same site also reported that warrants have been issued against three white thugs that were on the private platoon boat. Richard Roberts, 48, for two counts of third-degree assault. Alan Ty, 23, for one count of third-degree assault. And Zachary Chase Shipman, 25, for one count of third-degree assault. Now, all of these charges are misdemeanors and were given to the three men on the platoon boat that stopped the river boat for approaching its dock. Roberts is currently in custody in Selma, according to the Selma police chief, Ken Fulford. The other two are expected to turn themselves in very soon. On top of that, it's also been reported that some of the suspects are linked to that year's mini mart in Selma. The owner of the store is Zachary Chase Shipment, who posted about the fight on Facebook over the weekend but the page has since then been taken down. I am sure most of you have seen the news about the riverboat incident, he said. Yes, I was there, but I was the first to try to get away. You can see in the video I attached, and I do not condone what happened. I tried to stop it and realized that I could not, so I tried to get away. There's a video of me being the first to run away because what was happening was wrong and I did not want to be a part of it. I realized I have a business to run and represent, and no charges were filed against me because I was not involved. Outside of Shipman's statement, all of the other white assailants have deactivated their social media accounts. The Selma Police Chief has said their store remains open as officers continue to patrol. More information about this event continues to come out as more witnesses speak up. By now, we all know the incident began by a group who docked their platoon boat in a space that was reserved for the city's river boat. According to CNN, the riverboat had waited about 40 to 45 minutes for the platoon boat to move, which they did not. Montgomery Police Chief Daryl Albert said that the captain of the riverboat used a public address system to try and find the platoon boat party, but was met with obscene gestures and curse words. There was a witness, Krista Owen, who said she was on board with her husband and 12-year-old daughter to celebrate their child's birthday. According to her, the riverboat captain grabbed the loudspeaker and said, Black Batoon Boat, move your boat. There were also several other passengers that yelled for the boat to move so that they could dock. Owen said the Batoon Boaters shrugged their shoulders, which is what led to co-captain Damian Pickett to go to the dock driven by a 16-year-old white male to address the Batoon Boaters. From here is where most of the social media footage picks up. As Pickett was approached by a platoon boater in a very hostile manner, both Pickett and the 16-year-old white boy were struck. Police say the 16-year-old boy was allegedly hit by Roberts and the boy's mother obtained warrants against him. Daryl Albers said investigators have talked to the FBI as well as state prosecutors, but also mentioned that there was not enough evidence to pursue this as a hate crime or inciting a riot. He also made sure to note that the investigation is ongoing and more charges could be filed. In addition, Captain Jim Cottrell spoke out and stated that the white group must have attacked a black deckhand because of his race in an interview with the Daily Beast. The white guys that attacked my deckhand and he was a senior deckhand first mate, I can't think of any other reason they attacked him other than it being racially motivated, Cottrell said. All he did was move their boat up three feet. It makes no sense to have six people try to beat the snot out of you just because you moved their boat up a few feet. In my opinion, the attack on Damien was racially motivated, he explained, before adding that the rest of the fight was not black and white. Albert will also address the talks of people who plan to retaliate. Here's what he had to say. This incident is isolated. It will be over soon. We're gonna continue our investigation until we put this to rest. We're all paying attention to what's going on in terms of any possible retaliatory acts, don't come here with it. We're not going to tolerate it. We will be active, we will be aggressive, and we will not allow this type of behavior in our city. Now, I've already shared my thoughts on this yesterday. So I'll end with some laughable truths from a fellow white counterpart. But before I do, let me say this. 
let's use this momentum that we feel to stay focused on being united. There are a lot, I mean, a lot of issues happening right now that are targeted on our community and on our people. I mean, really look at it. The efforts of changing classroom curriculums, attempts to make voting more difficult, and extremist views being normalized in politics. I mean, do I need to remind us of Ron DeSantis or whatever his name is, saying slavery was a good thing? I didn't think I did. So this fire that we feel after seeing our community stick together, let's use it and get more active. There are programs like National Urban League that not only does great work, but also connects with other programs and organizations that are dedicated to economic success for our people. But you don't have to stop there. Get involved locally, find organizations, heck, create organizations, support black businesses. I push it all the time. And if you need some, don't worry, I got you. Let me give you a few. Made with Black Culture, Next Level Boys Academy, African American Marketing Association, Village Microphone, Comedy Hype, The Connect, Self-Preservation Society, My Sister Keepers the Fence. I mean, I can go on and on and on, but I'm gonna end with this. In the words of Michael Killer Mike Render, let's plot, plan, strategize, organize, and mobilize. Because we need each other now more than ever. But hey, what do you guys think with the latest news, the information that came out about the Alabama Riverfront Brawl? Let us know down in the comments below. Now for the moment that we've all been waiting for. I gave you the facts, I gave you my thoughts. Now let's get some laughable truths from a fellow white counterpart. Let's take a look. White people, here's some advice for the rest of the summer. Stay out of the water. Between the Titanic claiming fresh victims, orcas taking down yachts, and the Alabama sweet tea party, white people are having a tough time of it in the water these days. And I know a lot of people are not gonna like this advice because there is no one on this planet more entitled than a white guy in a boat. We saw that entitlement, that privilege with those guys on the tight and submersible. We also saw it with these f***ing idiots in Alabama who refused to move their boat for a ferry full of people even after a security guard asked them to. Then they decided to jump the security guard. And I'm sure these guys are all about law and order, right? Well, little did they know that the entire black population of Alabama had that security guard's back. Black people of all ages, all genders, were unified as one. Black people were swimming. I mean, they were breaking all types of stereotypes just to kick these guys' fucking asses. And it was beautiful. And I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm white. Very, very white. And I'm sure I'll have racists all up in my comments saying I should just rub my white skin off like they did when I said that slavery was actually bad. But I don't give a f See, normal white people, we don't really have racial solidarity. We might have like ethnic solidarity. We like identify with other, you know, Irish or Italian or Germans or whatever. We know that racial solidarity with white people gets very ugly very fast. When white people do some racist, idiotic shit and get their comeuppance, we love it. So I guess my advice isn't really stay out of the water. I guess my advice is don't be an entitled racist idiot. I got nothing for those orcas though. How much I have to around to find out what I need to find out. As you can see, the more you f around, the more you're going to find out.